All right, with the up and coming Klingon recruitment event, I thought I'd show you guys a couple of tricks. For your ambush and melee kills, set yourself to normal and head over to the mission home. Now the whole thing with this one mission is that you start in space, go to the ground, start, go back to space and go back to ground. So if you repeat this mission three or four times, maybe five, you'll complete everything. So you decloak and boom, just grab them all. And if you don't have this console, well, damn man. Nah, I'm only playing with you. You can always use a scatter volley build and do it a lot better. Alright, so every time you do this, you gotta remember, give yourself a 5 to 10 count. And then choose your next target. And right before you get to that target, then you decloak. You only got 30 seconds. Boom. And this ship, this bird of prey, you're gonna get it for free. And it comes with the trait Withering Barrage. So I suggest you use the ship it comes with. Unless you got something better. You know what I mean? I'm using a beam overload build with Zot Vash disruptors on this. And just cutting through it real quick. So we're not gonna sit through the whole mission. But I just want you to get an idea of how this thing goes, all right? And instead of it taking you a week, it's going to take you maybe an hour or two to get all your ambush kills done. Which is the hurdle that most players struggle with. Now this Klingon recruit also comes with all the traits that you're possibly going to need to succeed with melee kills on the ground you're gonna get the warrior trait and if i was you i'd pick up some zot vash venom off the exchange which isn't very expensive this way your melee attacks leave a venom that will finish off your enemies so we're about to go down to ground now i just gotta wipe out this last little crew here and if it wasn't for that, this is time gated, you would get this done super, super quick. Now she is a bird of prey, so you can uh, track the beam and certain things, mainly science abilities, under cloak. You can also launch torpedoes under cloak. So if you were doing a torpedo build, almost all of your kills like 90 percent of them would count as an ambush kill because you're not actually decloaking to shoot and here you go we're gonna go to the ground real quick as soon as i take care of this dreadnought sorry for the clip being a little long but i wanted you guys to see what you're in for Boom. And if anybody wants to know what that console is, I'll link it below. Or actually, you know what? Just come on the Discord and ask me. Now, once on the ground, I'm going after the big guy here because he's a knucklehead. And I have Zavash Venom. But you generally want to target the ads all the little guys because remember it's not the quality of who you defeat it's the amount so the little guys you can usually take care of them in one or two shots one shot in that case <laughs> the bigger guys take a little bit more effort but if you target the ads that's when you're gonna get a lot of lot of melee kills at one shot
the faster you complete your Klingon recruit, the faster every character on your account benefits from. You know what I mean? Is that Zavash Venom, baby? And the weapons I'm using are Shiver Dance, they're called. They come from the Phoenix Prize Pack. I think it's a blue chip and you can get them. The reason I did that is the Venom is applied per blade and these things have four blades. Now for the second part, you're actually gonna get bonus CXP, which is for your reputations and your duty officers. Since you have to complete at least six of them, this gives you a nice jump and you could do it every day. This part is going to take you probably the longest out of the recruitments. And here's the R&D stuff. You run this and that's 1,800 dilithium. I will link the full videos at the end. They're quick tick videos so they don't last too long. But I wanted to throw them in here so you could see it for yourself. Okay? So when this completes in 10 seconds, you're not only going to get 1,800 dilithium, you're going to get 6,000 CXP towards that R&D. So you see, that's like a whole day's worth right there. Boom. And energy credits and a couple of crafted supplies. Now, for the last part, do your tour of the galaxy every day. That gives you reputation XP, exploration XP, recruitment XP, and I didn't put it up there. It also gives you trade XP, dilithium, and energy credits. So I'll be linking this video at the end. And so you can see how important it is to complete all of the optionals or the requirements to complete a recruit. I'm going to throw that in at the end here. But as you can see, my ship is trucking. So I'll be linking all of these videos at the end. There's only two, really. Yeah, baby. I hope you like the awesome beats. So these tips should get you to complete at least your duty officers and your ambush kills, your melee kills, which normally take about a month to do. You'll be able to do it in a, well, the melee and ambush kills, you'll be able to do it in a day. And look at this. All these recruits are finished. So this level 65 can cop all of these things. I'll be opening up the inventory in a few seconds. And yeah, I got to line it up. If not, we'd be here all day. And some of those traits, like improved temporal insights, improved critical, they come from these recruitment events. Not to mention the gamma one, Gives you that duty officer with bonus damage to any enemy. Not Borg, not Tholian. You don't have to pick and choose. You can just slot them and leave them there. And you'll get the bonus. But look at all the stuff you get for completing a recruitment event. And this is account wide on every character you get to take this in. This is Dilithium, Marks. Specialty officers, weaponry. Um, you get the temporal negotiator from here, which brings out all your cooldowns to zero. And unconventional systems, an intelligence agent cache then procs that. 
you get ground traits you get some really awesome space traits i mean just for doing an event so if you're the type that you know likes to grind or even if you're a min max player this is still in your ballpark you know what i mean this is just look at all this stuff i'm for and this is forever if you create a tune and you've completed your recruitment events a year from now this is still quantifiable you still go to your agent and collect all the rewards from prior years and as we've seen when they update these events you don't even have to redo them you just collect bonus rewards so it's really really important that we get this done especially if you're on a budget you're a free to play player but like i said even the min max players even i benefit from this you've seen what i can do with improved critical systems look look at these ground traits it's like they give you everything that you will need to succeed in the game trait wise energy credit wise dilithium wise mark wise it's just all there all you gotta do is pick it up so i hope everybody gets on board with this klingon recruitment event it is one of the better ones i'd say klingon and gamma give you like the best rewards for where the game is right now but the delta one does give you temporal negotiator and it does give you improved temporal insight which is five ability trait and yeah that's a lot of stuff right and look at this bat lift wow all right so everything's done right let's open up my inventory see what it looks like It's just marks galore. They say 25, but they give you 30. Anyway, if you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you sub, subscribe. Yo, consider becoming a member of the channel. And yeah, I'll catch you next time, y'all. Peace.